Hi YouTube, hi this is Andrew, and I know it's been a while since I've been on a video, and just need to recap just one small thing in here. I'm just going to show how to import files into FileMaker Pro, and then I'll show how to do the same thing in Microsoft Access. Okay, so I just created a file, a database, I called it Store, just for example on this video. So what you want to do is you want to go to File, and I'm going to import a Excel file, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Import Records and then go to file. Now the file that I already had on here it was general store. It's an Excel file. Hit here, hit OK. Now it's going to show you the different tabs you put in there. And the one what I'm going to use is for the customers. Okay. Now you'll notice so if you already had a table in there you gotta select. Let's click on the drop down menu. Hit on new table and it's gonna generate a new new table. Now what you need to do on the very bottom, hit don't import the first field, the first record, and then they all match up. So you see you get your customer ID with customer ID, last name, last name, first name, and so forth. Now and if you don't want to import a certain field, see how it says down here, field mapping. If you don't want to import, let's say last name, you click on that and you click back if you want to import it. Easy as that. Alright, so let's import this. Great, so we got 26 records. Now one thing that's kind of interesting, so I want to make the customer ID a primary key. And I need to show you right now, um, if I go into File, Manage, Database, for whatever reason, it has it as a text field. I don't know why, but it has it in there. Even though it was as a, well, yeah, because it has C1, so it does have text. Okay, I stand corrected. So we're gonna go text, change it to number, and hit change. Now we're gonna what we're gonna also do is go to options. I'm gonna go and make it a serial number. And the cool thing about uh, FileMaker is that you can, instead of making a number, like a 1, 2, 3, 4, you can do like how it is over here. See? You can, the next value you want is going to be C-28. You can see the last one here was C-27. Alright. And you want to go to your validation. You want to make it a not empty and unique field. And there we go. Hit auto enter. Hit OK. Alright, so now hit OK to get out of here. And watch this. When I when I go to the next one, it's gonna so the new record, you click on here and make a new record. It's gonna auto populate. Let's see? 28, 29, 30, and so forth. Alright, so now I'm going to go show you how to do this in Microsoft Access. Alright, so I just created a database for on Access. Uh, called it Store, just like with, my, with um, FileMaker. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to External Data on this tab right here. Go to New Data Source from File. And hit Excel. Now you got to find the file and browse. And our so happens to be right here, general store. And open. And import import the source to a new table in the current database. Alright, hit OK. And so I'm going to choose the customers, like I did with FileMaker. Next. And you want to click this because you see the same thing as before. The first the first record is going to be titles, the uh, the row headers. So there we go. Uh, hit that. Next. Now what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to hit do not import this field. Skip the customer ID. Um, mainly, and I'll show you why. Uh, it's, Microsoft Access doesn't do the same thing as um, FileMaker does in the last video. So hit next. Alright. 
Now I'm going to do let access add primary key. So see, it just did that and it just numbered it all. Wait a minute. Back. Let this do not import. Next. Title is customers. Finish. Close. And there we go. And now, so this is a primary key. So you can change this to customer. All right. And you just imported your file. Yeah, but like I mentioned, it's a little bit different for Microsoft Access. You don't have that much flexibility. It'll make it as a short text, and you can't. There is a way. Um, it's a longer video on how to do this, but there is a way to make it labeled, make it as a number, and but it involves coding. All right, well, hopefully this uh, video helped you a little bit, and... Again, uh, like and subscribe and share anything in your comments. Thank you.